Today I was watching Tetsuko Room and Misako Furusato was on TV. The song that was sung on the program was Warabigami. The title of the song Waragibigami was written by Mr. Furusato on the occasion of the birth of her grandchild. The title Warabigami comes from the Okinawan saying children are gods until they are old enough to understand. Raising my children, especially the older one, was really tough for a few years until they were old enough to remember. I thought to myself, my child is a child god. In fact, it seemed to be the opposite. I was in a cold sweat. That's when I noticed it. I'm not sure how much pain my child must have been in or what she wanted to tell me. Isn't my child a child god because he carries such suffering? I wonder what God is. I wonder what God is. I wonder if God is a noble being who dare to accept suffering and teach us about it. I wonder what we have learned from these gods, what we will learn from them. Can we think of the person in front of us as God? Namaste. I wonder if the God let me see the gods in you. I have struggled so hard through the past few years with my child and what I have inside of me is so precious. It is a precious light that no one can take away from me. This is something that will stay with me as a treasure and wisdom for the rest of my life. From now on, no matter what special magic you teach me to solve my problem, nothing can replace the joy of suffering, learning, and gaining together. When I saw the child who has such a god in front of me, I knew that I had found a child god in her. And I'm sure that my own eyes, which are looking at that child god, are also divine. The sparkle of a moment, the beauty, the sadness, the anger, the emotion, I felt all of it. I believe that the tears that flow now are the tears of God who knows everything. Passing time tells all. These words were written on the back of a t-shirt of a boy sitting in front of me in the hospital room waiting the other day. I felt a shiver run to my heart knowing that my days had not been a mistake. Beautiful story. Yeah. キズキ That style, it's so, that style of music, that folk from Okinawa, mm. it's so emotional. True. We love reacting to the Minatsukawa. We reacted to the boom the other day. It's a similar style. I think one of them is from Okinawa. The other one is from an island a bit south. Mm. Uh, it's, it's so emotional, that style of singing. Yeah, it's really emotional. It's like, you know, um, you're thinking about it. It's so traditional and then you can create a story in your head. Beautiful melody. Yeah. Instrument. She's itself. making animal noise, instrument yeah. noise with her, with her mouth. 
it's such good technique. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of speechless. Yeah. I really love that style. Yeah, really beautiful, oh serious and powerful at the same time. And it's the same instrument as always. Yeah. The, people keep telling me the, the name of the instrument. I will write it somewhere so I never forget it. True. But I love the instrument. It's yeah. so, it's so simple, but it's so fitting. Ah, it's it's gorgeous performance. I read also in the when I was reading the lyrics that part of the lyrics it's from very old language. It's mm. uh, it's it, even for Japanese people. I'm not sure they understand some of the part of the lyrics. I'm trying to figure out which part it is. It's umming, but it's uh, it's words that were ancient, ah. and it's people have so difficulty understanding the meaning of some of those words yeah. because it's mixed Japanese with I think Okinawan language at some point. I feel like they look like each other though. Yeah, you think? Yeah, the two lady. I mean, you know, because the way that they're sitting right is like a mirror. I just create yeah. a story in my head, like she's looking at herself like in the future. What is she oh. gonna look like? Something like that. And okay. then her look at herself at the part. Something oh, like okay, that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> forgot the lyrics when I was listening because the lyrics are quite sad he, he wrote the thing that the lyricist wrote the song after being in a pit he saw, he saw the text some text in the back of a student mm. a, a, another student of a, of a child was sick and he yeah playing that child or god I mean how can you suffer such suffering as a young age you must be a, a, a god in a way mm. and it's uh wow it's amazing lyrics amazing interpretation yeah and you know every time when they sing this kind of stuff this instrument it's always like part of like the the style already yeah it's instant goosebumps and yeah. those kind of songs are so emotional to listen to honestly yeah thank you for the amazing suggestion thank you for watching everyone and see you very soon bye bye, bye.